Uh, Shalom Akim, the brother Raza Allah from Jameis London Camp. First and foremost, give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Kakadash, double honors unto the apostles and elders, the great most of them. Blessings unto the hopeful elect around the four winds. Just going to be a quick one, a quick upload. Just came across this article. As you know, we're coming into these last days. Esau trying to proclaim his new world order agenda by way of that microchip, which is the mark of the B system, you know, that advanced technology. So, you know, you know, all these other nations are following suit. And, you know, you got China, China Moabites, biblically, in the Bible, they're one of the head honchos for um, pushing that advanced technology, especially the mark of the B system, you know. Um, so this is Robot Wars from ABS, ABS, CBN News website. It said, Robot Wars, China shows off automated doctors, teachers and combat stars. And why I picked up this article is because when I watched a movie that came out recently called Upgrade, they, they were showing this kind of automation, man. They were showing that they had in the hospitals, they had actual doctors and nurses in the hospitals. But what was part of that upgrade is the whole upgrade of society, man. A new economic threshold, if you, if you, uh, threshold, if you will. Um, running shit in society man and it was all robotic and automated man like these devils are actually saying in this article you know these chinese and all that because they're always up into the advanced technologies they, you know they're one of esau's guinea pigs for this new world order agenda so you know they're always trying out new things you know to advance um so-called society in that way so um yeah as i said in a movie upgrade they were showing um, basically, um, you had doctors and nurses, as I said, in the hospitals, but they had machine, machinery actually doing surgeries and all that, man, and taking diagnosis and all that. Actually, machines that were actually um, attached to the building, you know, with arms and all that shit, and would come down with, you know, different needles and shit to, you know, measure people's um, sicknesses and all that kind of stuff. And then in people's households, like the main guy's character, in his household, he actually had a machine that would, you know, um, diagnose him and give him different injections just on command, like, uh, you know, just by uh, commanding it to do so, and he'll get different injections in his body, man, dosages and shit like that. So this is what uh, Esau ultimately wants his society to head into, that total robotic cyborgism, transhumanism society, man, you know, total dystopian, um, which we're in a dystopian rule anyway, but he just wants it to be totally worse than that, man, you know. You know, he enlarges his desires. Hell, as the scripture says, this is Robert Wars China shows off automated doctors, you know, teachers and combat stars. So that's what is all leading up to in that Mark of the Beast chip system, man. This is Beijing robots that can recognize diseases, play badminton, and wow audiences uh, with their musical skills are among the machines China hopes could revolutionize its economy. Yeah, because that's what Isa wants to do as out with the old and in with the new, you know. That's what he's about. That's why the scripture says that, you know, knowledge shall be increased. And we're in the pinnacle of his, um, um, you know, height of his technology right now, man. You know, and uh, this, this is why the Lord's coming to take his ass out of power, because that technology has made him all so proud, man. Too proud. Talking about you so-called white people, which are biblically known as the Edomites, man. It says, with visitors to Beijing exhibit, exhibit, exhibition offered a glimpse on, um, on an automated future. And that's what they want, an automated future, man. When you watch all these different dystopian sci-fi films like Demolition Man, you know, all of them, man, uh, Elysium, all these different films, man, you know, that came out throughout the mid-90s and, you know, going into the, even the 80s as well, 90s, coming into the 2000s, you know, more more recently, as I said, the film up, films like Upgrade and stuff like that. They're showing you, man, what their, you know, the end goal is, man. You know, Aaron Russo had that discussion with Rockefeller and he told him what the end goal was, man, to have everyone ship that, that total autonomy, uh, autonomous control over them, um, over the peoples, man, you know, by the control of a button. You know, it says the popular stars of the year's World Robot Conference, which ends Sunday, were undoubtedly a small, the small amateur made battle bots, which smashed, hammered and soared their way through the opponents and uh, cacophony, cacophony, if I'm not saying it properly, it says, oh, cheers and, um, and shouts from a rapt audience. Yeah, and that's just part of the entertainment, man. You know, they had shows like that on TV, you know, like, Battle bots and shit like that, where people create the best designs of robots to see if you can cut each other's heads off um, worse or quicker, you know. 
So that's just part of that bread and circuses. But really the main agenda is to have everyone under this autonomous control, man, you know, and everyone being um, interlinked by that AI technology, you know, a big supercomputer with a, a, or basically a grid of all their slaves, man, you know, and they can track and mold and control your 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 your, um, your movements through by way of your, that chip which is the mark of the beast because that's the ultimate you know goal and that's the ultimate technology the um, highest pinnacle of esos technology man that he's going to introduce on, into this world which he's been introducing even the chinese they got the rfid tags on their items where you can just go in and you know pay for things by using your phone but ultimately they're going to introduce that chip which you're going to put in your right hand or forehead and that's going to be the you know the, the means of paying for items man or getting services healthcare, and all the rest of it getting jobs that's why you know this is this is in um basically imperative for ESO to push this shit out because it's part, it's ultimately part of that new world order coming out party of introducing that Michael, the mark of the beast, uh, and enforcing it on the people's mandatory, really, man. You know, which we're in that time now. Because you know, these devils know that the time is short. So anyway, I'm, as I said, I'm gonna make this long and not jump to the sketches and close out, man. I just saw the article for I thought I'd just you know speak upon it quickly. It says Daniel's twelve and four. It says old thou Dan old Daniel. It says, but thou old Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book. Yeah, because back then in the time of the um, prophets, you know, we we didn't get we didn't have they didn't they didn't have to understand. We did definitely have to understand up until you know the um, early seventies when Abba Bivens came on the scene, you know, and uh, and, and, uh, and basically the books was open by way of our Lord Yahweh Shai um, giving us that understanding, man, through the Heavenly Father Yahweh. You know, if it weren't for that, you know, um, we would still be in darkness, man. Great gross darkness, like the peoples on the earth. We have no understanding, no wisdom, knowledge of what's really going down at the times that we're in. But, but through the mercies of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, grace that we we got this understanding from the men of the Lord, man, from the apostles and elders uh, on down, man, that taught us this word. So that's why it's so imperative and precious, and it's a gift that you can't take um, for granted. So the books are open right now, and that's why we have the men of the Lord, the Presbytery, starting from the Presbytery that are breaking. You know these words down, and I'm um, passing on the baton for us to push this word and do 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 as do as um, we've been we've been taught. You know, continue with those things that you've learned. You know, so um, it says even to the time of the end, which that shows that we're in the end of this thing, man. You know, we're the end of Esau's um, rulership. You know, Esau is the end of the world, which the word world there is a um, aeon, which means an age or rule. Age of basically a, a time of rulership, man. From the end of Esau's rule, the end of his age, and uh, Jacob was the beginning of that followeth. You know, the righteous, uh, um, royal people of the Lord, which are you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, starting with the elect. They're, they're the next rulers, the kings and priests to rule on this earth, man. You know, by way of prophecy. It says many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased, and that's what's happening right now. You know, knowledge is being increased. You know, and you got people using it on the left hand side and on the right hand side, which on the right hand side represents the men of the Lord for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. On the left hand side, you got Esau doing his madness, man. You know, and through his technology, that AI, which has made him so proud and boastful, you know, and making more stout than his neighbors, as it tells you in the scriptures. You know, because of that technology, man. You know. The technology has puffed this devil up to the max, but he thinks he can never be brought down. But you know he's going to be sadly mistaken in these last days. And the scripture says, as it says in Psalms nine and other scriptures, you know that um, is equal twenty um, eight. That the Lord's going to show that um, Esau to be nothing but men, you know, just mortals, mere mortals, man. So anyway, jump to the last scripture, it's Second Corinthians two and eleven. Because as I said, you know, the men of the Lord, we ain't ignorant to Satan's devices. We know the ultimate goal of what these devils are proclaiming and what they're doing, man. Because they know that the time's running short. So this Second Corinthians two and eleven says, "Lest Satan should get an advantage of us." Talking about the men of the Lord, the elect, they can't, which they can't be deceived. It says, "For we are not ignorant of his devices." Yeah. So we're seeing all this new technologyified stuff coming out. You know, phones that are on wristbands and shit. Which they glow on your, on your arm and stuff. All this new technology out with the old and with the new type technology that they're coming up with. But ultimately, you know, we're not ignorant to say it's devices because we know what, what this devil's agenda is. And that's the, you know, chip everyone, man, with the RFID chip. So that, that's why the Lord warned us of these things uh, and, and the times that we would be in when these things would happen, man. And he warned us not to take part of that. 
New World Order agenda. Take take part of that chip system, man. Because if you do, you're going to get toasted, man. You're going to be swimming in that lake of fire, the second death. So this is the times we're in, man. So this just proves more and more that, you know, the words of the Heavenly Father is faithful and true. And all these, all these words and all these, um, you know, prophecies that are not going to turn back, they're going to be um, proclaimed and they're going to accomplish that which they were supposed to be accomplished, man. And they come to pass, basically. So anyway, I'm going to close out with that. Give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Hashem, Rapa, Kodash. And to the elect, I say Shalom.